The views and opinions expressed on In Touch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything. Good morning and welcome to In Touch, a Sunday morning public affairs program dedicated to the health and welfare of the Susquehanna Valley residents. I'm your host, Joey Michaels. Join us at this time as we interview the difference makers in our community who want to help make the Susquehanna Valley a better place. This morning we're talking with Fred Foster, a representative of the Williamsport LGBT Community Outreach. It's a new nonprofit organization dedicated to getting researchers into the community to help people understand their LGBT neighbors, friends, and family members. Fred is visiting with me on Sunday morning. We're going to be discussing how we can end bullying in school, ending workplace discrimination, and providing social outlet in Williamsport and Lycoming County. Let's turn to our interview with Fred on In Touch, a locally produced service of Backyard Broadcasting. Good morning, North Central PA. I am the president and uh, founder with Dan Manival of the uh, Williamsport LGBT Community Outreach Group. And we are here with Nathan, our, uh, our services, manager. services manager. We're still working on, a, on an awesome title for this guy. And uh, we're all still figuring our spots because we are a really new organization. So today we are talking about something that not everyone is comfortable with, and that's LGBT issues. And I think uh, most people know someone who's gay, lesbian, or transgender. And the truth is there will always be LGBT people, if not at home with you, then at the grocery store or at church or at work or at school. And at Williamsport LGBT, uh, we see a future where all people are comfortable to be who they are, wherever they are. Um, when people think of us, we want them to think of, of this word um, allyship. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, an ally is someone who, who openly shows support. Uh, an, al an ally used to be, I think, in the LGBT word LGBTQIA um, and people don't realize that an ally is like a straight person who is right here along with us fighting the good fight and everything. But um, uh, the first place we plan to make allies is where we make adults and that's high school. Uh, many high schools have GSA programs. Uh, GSA used to stand for Gay Straight Alliance but the new terminology is uh, Gender and Sexualities Alliance. So we're, so we're planning to put a starter kit uh, to start these GSA groups in every high school in Lycoming County. Uh, this will hopefully create an environment where coming out is much easier for students instead of hiding who they are because hiding who you are only creates an, envi an environment where homophobia can thrive and bullying thrives and it's not comfortable for anyone. So might as well get these kids out that have resources for LGBT kids to, to be able to come out and be who they are. Um, the kids will have supportive literature, resources, fundraising opportunities, and ra rainbow swag. That's what we're calling it. Cool. Uh, our, future in, our future projects include a comprehensive non-discrimination policy for local businesses, as well as like printed resources. Um, I'm picturing uh, posters and, um, and, and written policies, but things that let people know, you know, that they, they can't be fired for being who they are. And, they, they have a right to not be discriminated against in the workplace. Um, that's Pennsylvania law. Uh, we're also looking into working with an organization called, an organization called Reconciling Works, and they work with uh, local churches to help them become gay affirming so that uh, LGBT people can, can get married and, and be you know, more a part of the, uh, the fabric of our society. I'm myself uh, a devout Christian. I go, I go to a Lutheran church and uh, if a church isn't gay affirming, you know, I, I really can't see myself going <laughs> to that church. And uh, it's hard for me to accept that there are so few gay affirming churches. You know, we, we, if you want, if you, if you look at gay people and you say, you know, they're, they're, they don't fit in, they're, they're different or they're, they're dirty, you know, well then why not help them to fit into the society that you think is right, you know? Because some of, some of us <laughs> just want to be a part of it, you know, and I think the whole world is, is that we're becoming a lot more like each other in a lot of ways with social media and everything. We're all getting to know each other a lot more. So anyway, um, and lastly, we hope to bring a positive uh, mentality to our local recreational facilities and events. Um, I think that's further down the line because I think the, the big project first is going to be the GSAs and then the workplace and then 
I think will be much different by then, so we'll be able to figure out how to help other places that we can. <laughs> so if you'd like to make a donation um, to get these projects going, please go to williamsportlgbt.com. Uh, there's a little donation button on the, on the top right. Uh, you can also read about our, our projects there um, and look into more. Also, if you, if you want to make a donation that goes to a specific uh, cause here, then you can send us a message. The email is right on there as well. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, our first meeting is November 6th. Uh, and here is Dan Manable to tell you more about that. Hi. We're very excited to be here today to do this. Very excited. Uh, it's our first actual uh, tour at publicity, and we're very excited. Uh, we do want this publicity. We do want to get the word out that we're here. And uh, this organization is having its first meeting on November the 6th, Saturday, November the 6th, uh, 2021, at uh, 3 o'clock p.m. And we have secured a site. It is the Independent Fire Company in South Williamsport. It's located at Clark Street at West Southern Avenue. It's very easy to find. And there's plenty of free parking off the street parking surrounding the building. So that's at 3 o'clock p.m. on November the 6th. That will be an introductory meeting for us and an introductory meeting for those in attendance. It's open to the public. Anybody can attend that meeting. You don't have to be LGBTQ. You just have to attend and be supportive. Uh, we are very excited to be having this meeting. We hope to have a monthly meeting. And we also hope to, to do other things besides a monthly business meeting. We are, are in the back of our minds. We've already thought about having a movie night once a month as a social outlet. And we are already uh, delving into what movies we can show. Uh, we have talked about Milk, which is uh, an autobiographical of Harvey Milk uh, that starred Sean Penn, who won the Academy Award for it. It was a very well done movie. We are also thinking about uh, a Stonewall type movie showing how the movement started back in 1969 when Stonewall occurred in New York City. Uh, the first one we're probably going to show is Larry Kramer's The Normal Heart. This is uh, the AIDS story of the 1980s when AIDS epidemic happened and gay people got the blame for it. And Larry Kramer went on a warpath and started groups such as ACT UP. And uh, these movies will all be historically accurate. Uh, they've been shown in movie theaters, they've won awards, and we're very excited to bring them to our local area to show and we hope that people will turn out for that as well. That will probably be on a weeknight as opposed to a Sunday. We're going to talk about that at the meeting and try to get people to decide, help us decide when we're going to show these movies. But that this is going to be another outlet. I would like to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Fred is Fred Foster. He, is, he and I started this group about three months ago. And he is the backbone as far as I'm concerned. He uh, has worked diligently to get this off the ground. We realize that there are several other uh, LGBT groups in this area, and we are not infringing on their rights to exist at all. We, everybody seems to have a different purpose, and that's wonderful. And we need that in this area. We need outlets. And now we have three LGBT groups, and that's exciting. We need more social outlets, and that's one of the things we're trying to strive for as well. Uh, we have been doing fundraisers over the course of the last couple of months. We did two First Fridays. And we just came off of a very successful Columbia Montour Pride event called Outfest two weekends ago at the Bloomsburg Fairgrounds. And we were very pleased, despite a heavy rainstorm that day, that we did as well as we did. Uh, we are certainly going to be doing more fundraisers. There's a possibility that we'll be doing a Christmas-type fundraiser in December, but we haven't secured that yet. Uh, that would be at the Pajama Factory. They're doing a big Christmas promotion in early December, and we hope to be a part of that. How many folks um, are in your group at, uh, right now as we, as we speak? Five, yeah. All ex executive board positions. Uh, Fred is the president. I am what we're calling the nice president. Uh-oh. Uh, a long time ago, there was a TV show called The Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, okay. And when the Clampets took over a bank on, on, a, on a whim, uh, Jed was the president and Granny was the vice president. And she didn't like the word vice, so she changed it to nice. Oh, nice. So, because I'm old. I'm the old member here. I'm okay. 74 years nice old. Friend. I've been in, in gay groups since the 1970s, so I've been around the block. Okay. So I'm now the nice president. Very nice. Well, we like the nice president. We're just the executive board. And then once we have our first meeting and we see who shows up, we'll have, we'll have our own meetings. And then we'll have the meetings for the, the voting members 
Um, but we will, I think just the five of us will be the, the center of it. We'll make the, the big decision. Now, is there anything that folks need to do as far as uh, membership? Are you going to have applications or, or, you know, I mean, to, to be able to, to at least get their, their name and their phone numbers and addresses and that kind of stuff? Are you going to have any of that available on the 6th? Yes. Um, okay. Start. We're gonna we're gonna have uh, anyone who wants to sign up sign up. I think people who want to take initiative, um, we're gonna use we are gonna use Robert's rules to 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 plan everything out. Oh, to, okay. To see to see if anyone wants to to make a commitment. You know, we'll wait till they've. I think we've decided three uh, events, three meetings, or or three meetings and or events. Okay. Um, so after they've completed that, then we'll look into. Um, Bring them onto a to a position where they where they sign some paperwork. And there you go. Lock, lock themselves in. Now I know you mentioned you mentioned um, you were going into schools. Have you been in contact with any schools yet? I mean, is it- there are some schools that already do have GSA, so we're going to count on them to help us out a little bit too. Okay. We also know that there are uh, GSAs in both of the local colleges, and we do want to tap into them. Uh, they're on Facebook. The Gender Sexuality Alliance at Penn State at Penn College is called Penn College Alliance. Okay. And we are uh, we're already taking sign up names. I have about a dozen names on an email list already. Very nice. So we're, we're starting. Um, now the 6 is coming up, so that's at 3 p.m. Are you going to have for refreshments, or is that going to be just so you have? Yeah. We're going to we're going to have um, some refreshments. We haven't decided yet what what we're going to have yet, but we're going to we're going to have lots to drink and, and snacks. I think it's like after lunch and before dinner, so I don't think we're going to have a meal or anything, but there's, there'll be refreshments and uh I'm going to make a like a PowerPoint presentation to go over everything. And um, I'm also going to have, if anyone wants to bring any ideas, um, I'm going to have a, a big box there and I'm going to market uh, the LGBT uh, GSA starter kit. So we're going to take some ideas if anyone thinks that they know of a great resource or something to include to, to give to the, to the high school students to help them, fundraisers and things like that, then um, they can bring those ideas with them. Oh, absolutely. That sounds good to me. Yeah, um, well, the, the the Christmas the Christmas event we're going to be selling uh, soap studs. If you go to soapstuds.net, you can check out the, the, oh, okay. the body washes there, and we're introducing cologne too. Um, so we'll be selling that there. That's one of our sponsors. Um, but our main sponsor is actually Fort Muncie Garden Center right now. Um, they've already started taking donations, and they're going to be doing up to sixty percent off of um, trees and shrubs for the whole month of November with your donation of $10 or more to Williamsport LGBT Community Outreach. And you can do that right out at the, that, uh, the, um, the garden, garden Center? The garden Center, right across from the mall, yeah. Okay, so then you go there and you buy something, and then the, the, the donation will be going to you. You don't need to do anything but buy the plant there, and they take care of all of that. Yeah, they were going to do just – well, I shouldn't say what they were going to do, actually – <laughs> they're gonna. They, they've told me that they're they're going to do up to sixty percent off with. Oh, okay. So you'll you'll know when you check out um, how much you'll save, and then you can just make the make the donation, and then all the proceeds will come come to benefit us and the the packages to help grow the GSA program. Changing the name already to like coming, job like coming GSA or like coming. <laughs> Community outreach. <laughs> like like coming LGBT, LGBT community, community outreach. outreach. Yeah. It'd be double LGBT. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Double WLGBT. Look, anybody is welcome. Yeah, we've had inquiries from as far away as Wilkesbury. Did an event in um in Bloomsburg, the Outfest, and that was great. We were one of the the main uh, booths there, selling selling our products and and raising raising money for everything. But we really started with First Fridays in Williamsport, and that's um. Got, got gave me a sense. I, I'm coming from New York. I lived in New York for seven years, and when I discovered this, and I saw, you know, the community being so welcoming to the LGBT community, I was like, this can be an awesome place. And I, if I can, I, if I can bring what what I the passion that I have to help to help people out to help gay people like me who didn't feel like I fit in around here, and now I come back and I see, you know what, this can be home for all of us. You know, it's pretty awesome. So. Yeah, are you going to have the pamphlets for information for folks that are just coming to learn that they want to be part, but Absolutely. you know, kind of take it along home and think about you know this this is what uh, this is what we do and this is how we do it and this this is why. Yeah, we have we have literature for um, parents and friends of transgender people. We have um, pamphlets for fa- uh, families of LGBT people. We have people who who are questioning. Uh, whether or not they're LGBT, you know, and how, how if they are, that would impact their life. Um, and then 
I think there's one more that we have. And we're oh, still faith. We have faith-based yeah. ones for people who are coming from, um, sorry to cut you off, um, for people who are coming from a background of faith where their families are, 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 are coming out with them with scripture. You can't choose that lifestyle because the Bible says this, you know, it's a way to approach um, faith-based people because you don't, you don't need to hold on to those, those old mentalities when so many churches, you know, can, can be accepting. And, and I know the Lutheran church, the ELCA is so accepting. So to me, it's important to, to let people know that there is still Christ and there's still church while you're, while you're gay. You know, there's no reason not to. Interesting that the two first Fridays that we've done, we had a lot of pamphlets there. And the two most popular that we saw the people were picking up was the one from PFLAG and the one about transgender. Okay. Yeah, the tra there was a, a young transgender kid there, and then at the family event, we were just at a Knobles, they had a transgender child there. Um, so people are, are, are starting to discover more about themselves much younger, you know, and parents are, are who are more open are, are helping people to grow into who they are inside, you know. So I think uh, it's important to get information out there for families to be able to, to deal with things that they're not ready for, you know. And I think it's amazing that they have you guys to look at as, uh, you know, I don't, I don't take this the wrong way, but I'm thinking role models, somebody to, to look up to, to say, look, look, you've done it and you're okay. And, and you are uh, explaining this to me and, and I can get there one day. No, it, it does feel like a great, a great position to be in. I remember when we were at First Fridays and there was one of the colleges, they all looked like freshmen. They still looked like they were in high school, but they said they were with the college. What college was it? Penn College. It was Penn, Penn College. college. Penn it was college their line. GSA. I looked look over and there they are in all like a wall just standing there like waiting for a presentation or something and I was like how can I help you guys like come on over like calm down so I feel like you know I have some pretty strong morals and and I uh, the Lord has put me in a pretty strong place so I feel like if I can fill a, a place that you know the younger generation's literally looking for then um then we're, we're doing something awesome here he can help the younger people. I can help the middle aged or older because of my age and experience. Like I said, I've been involved in gay organizations here since the 1970s. So I would like to see the flow of people that come and go stay. We have lost a lot of, of LGBT people that have left the area because they know there are greener pastures out there. Right. And we'd like to try to keep them here by what we're offering. You know, we can offer them a better community if they'll help us work with it, you know. Yeah, we just want to say thank you to the listeners giving us your time, you know, and, and, con and taking into consideration all that we've talked about. Uh, and I want to give a special thanks to the print shop for uh, printing a lot of the literature and giving us uh, a super, super amazing discount, super cheap for all the, uh, the literature that we've been printing and passing out and, and helping with these families and stuff. They're making a, a big difference. Um, and also to the Fort Muncie Garden Center for, um, for do hosting this amazing fundraiser. They, they came up to our table at First Fridays and just offered it to us. And we were like, of course, we'll do it. Yeah, they, they, they want to be a part of the, the community. Uh, and we did, we did get uh, quite the contribution from Adobe as well. So if, you, if you're a graphic designer like me and love all that, all that Photoshop and Illustrator stuff, um, they're, they're actually a very supportive company too. So. Outstanding. Well, once again, you're meeting on the uh, 6th at 3 p.m. at the uh, Firehouse, the Independent Fire Company in South Williamsport. Um, come at 3 p.m. You know, come on. The public is welcome. Come make yourself at home and uh, be part of an amazing group that uh, is welcome to everybody. Absolutely. Everyone is welcome. Big thanks to Fred Foster of the Williamsport LGBT Community Outreach. We discussed so many great things like ending bullying in school, ending workplace discrimination, and providing social outlets for LGBT people in the Williamsport and Lycoming County communities. Congratulations to you on your new nonprofit organization, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thanks for listening to In Touch, a locally produced service of Backyard Broadcasting. The views and opinions expressed on In Touch are those of the guests and do not necessarily reflect the official party or position of Backyard Broadcasting. Any content provided by our guests are of their opinion and they are not intended to malign a religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.